In this video, uh, we are going to show how we can create a meta exploit new module. And uh, we are going to use this new module to attack a vulnerable server running at Windows VM. OK, so here are all the steps. So the first step is that we need to update meta exploit at the Kali VM. OK, and uh, so here is our Kali VM. Okay, we start a terminal and we copy these two commands and run the two commands here. Okay, we have updated the meta exploit before, and uh, you can see we didn't do anything. That's okay. And uh, so let's look at uh, what we are going to do next. So next, we are going to create the custom module. We are going to create this module within the current uh, user folder, and uh, so we log in with uh, Kali. So we uh, we will are going to create this folder first, then we put uh, this lock.ruby script within this folder. And this is a hidden folder, but it's okay. Then we can just actually use this command to create it. Okay, so then we go into this folder, then we use a nano to create this file this ruby script which will be our new module okay good so now we come to this one and okay so we come to here So we can exit. So everything here looks okay. So let's go back to our home folder. And uh, so now we already created the, the new module. And uh, so it looks like we don't need to actually do this update DB. And uh, so when we actually start Armitage, Armitage will start Metasploit. Metasploit will automatically update the exploited database. And uh, so we are done with this. OK, so now we are going to use our new module. And uh, we need to prepare the vulnerable server at Windows 10 VM. So let's log in. And so before we actually run, the vulnerable server, we need to actually disable a various protection setting. Okay, so we come to here and there's a various and a threat protection settings. We click manage settings. We disable real time protection. Otherwise, Windows will kill our multiplicator session. And it will also delete our variable server files. OK, and uh, so our variable server is in this folder. 
So that is here. This is our folder. And uh, so now let's actually do this. And we can go to here. So you can see this is all the files. So in case, uh, you know, Windows deletes your Valven server.exe file, and then you can actually use this command to rebuild it, the exe file. Okay, so let me show you how you can do this. Okay, so this is how you do it. So let me first find the, the IP address of this Windows VM. Okay, it's 10.0.2.13. So now it's time for us to start the VAL and server. So this is our vulnerable server, which will be attacked from Candy VM. Good. So now Windows VM is ready. And that's, so let's go back to Candy here. We can just close everything here, I think. And uh, we are going to come to the applications then here, exploitation tools. Then we click Armitage and we enter Caddy. So we do connect and uh, Armitage uses a uh, Magisploit as the background workhorse. And uh, so that's why we are going to start this uh, Magisploit RPC server. So we are connecting to this uh, RPC server. Okay, great. And uh, so now we are going to use MSF scans to find the services available on the Windows VM, and uh, the Windows VM has the IP address of this. Okay, let's do the scan. So you can see here, and uh, Armortage has some issues here. And uh, so we are going to do a quick scan to find uh, the services available on Windows VM. Okay, so we are going to use a map scan and a quick scan here. Scan complete. Which one can complete? This one? It seems we have some issues here. So let's do this. Scan again. Thirteen. Okay, so now we find uh, all the services running on ten dot zero dot two dot thirteen, and then you can see here I'm a touch. It's just not very stable. Okay, and I forgot it. So we have enough. Uh, information now and uh, so let's try find the attacks see if Armitage can find all the attacks against the, the found services what we try to find is a, the VALN server attack Okay, so the attack analysis is done. So let's look at this, but uh, you can see here, it didn't find actually the Valven server attack, but it's okay actually. And uh, we can just use the list of uh, explodes here. And uh, so we are going to do is uh, we go to explode to Windows 
uh, actually you will see the ones over here and we have this knock module we click double click and uh, you can see here everything is okay and uh, so we just launch it okay this time it works if it doesn't work just try a few times and uh, it will work so now let's do this so we are going to do this i'm going to open a multiplicator shell however let's first find out what is our current folder at uh, caddy for multiplicator okay good and you can see the current folder for multiplicator is a slash user slash share slash Armitage. This is actually a root folder. And uh, when we try to use a multiplicator to start a web camera stream, and you know, the web camera stream is going to create a file in the current folder. And uh, but uh, because we are Kali, and we cannot actually create a file within this Armitage folder. So we need to change the folder on the local Kali. So I'm going to change this to Kali. And then, so I'm going to start webcam stream. And uh, so, let me make sure Windows 10 has the webcam. So we have the webcam here. So it should work. Oh, it's here. Okay, let's wait. If it doesn't work, we just actually try a few times. Sometimes it is a slow. Okay, I'm not patient, so I'm going to actually start another multiplicator shell. And so actually this one should have worked, so we don't need to do that again. And I'm going to just actually start webcam stream okay so this is Armitage it's just not very stable so if I come to here everything is normal you can see here, the vulnerable server receives collections from Caddy. That's why we see client collections here. And finally, this working and operation field. Okay, and uh, so if it's filled, you can see it doesn't work, but uh, it doesn't matter. We just close it. Okay, and then this one. Oh. This one field too. Okay, so I have to wait. And uh, so let's just do this one webcam stream again. Okay, this time it should work. Good, so now you can say it works. Good, and uh, so if I do webcam list, so it, oh, good, so now it shows the available webcam on Windows 10 VM. And uh, we can actually also grab the screenshot of uh, the victim, our Windows 10 VM. And uh, so in this case, we need to do this. And we actually now do screen grab. Okay. So this is a 
the screenshot of a, a Big Ten computer. And uh, so it's not very clear, but uh, you can still see something here. We can see other things. So this is uh, the demo of uh, creating a new module within Metisplot and use that module.